This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For further information, or to volunteer, please go to LibriVox.org. Recorded by Gesine. The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. Edited by D. Lang Purves. This reading is based on the book The Canterbury Tales and Other Poems. The original text contains poems by Chaucer and a lot of notes and explanations by the editor. To view these, please click on the Gutenberg e-text link on the LibriVox catalogue page of the Canterbury Tales. Prayers to Chaucer Prayer of Chaucer Now I pray to you all that hear this little treatise, or read it, that if there be anything in it that likes them, that thereof they thank our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom proceedeth all wit and all goodness, and if there be anything that displeaseth them, I pray them also that they arret to the default of mine unconning, and not to my will, that would fain have said better if I had conning, for the book saith, all that is written for our doctrine is written. Wherefore I beseech you meekly for the mercy of God that ye pray for me, that God have mercy on me and forgive me my guilts, and namely my translations, and of inditing in worldly vanities, which I revoke in my retractions, as is the book of Troilus, the book also of fame, the book of twenty-five ladies, the book of the Duchess, the book of St. Valentine's Day, and of the Parliament of Birds, the Tales of Canterbury, all those that sown in unto sin, the book of the Lion, and many other books, if they were in my mind or remembrance, and many a song, and many a lecherous lay, of the which Christ for his great mercy forgive me the sins." but of the translation of the Burke de Consolazione, and other books of consolation, and of legend of lives of saints, and homilies, and moralities, and devotion, that thank I, our Lord Jesus Christ, and his mother, and all the saints in heaven, beseeching them that they from henceforth unto my life's end send me grace to bewail my guilts, and to study to the salvation of my soul, and grant me grace and space of very repentance, penitence, confession, and satisfaction, to do in this present life, through the benign grace of him that is King of kings, and priest of all priests, that bought us with his precious blood of his heart, so that I may be one of them at the day of doom that shall be saved. Qui cum patri spiritu sancto vivis et regnus Deus per omnia secula. Amen. End of Pres de Chaucer and End of the Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, edited by D. Lang Purves. Recorded by Gesine in Valletta, March 2006.